Hello, welcome to the Eagle Success Off video. Let's turn that. Uh, we are going to be testing this uh, Tokimori MP5 A5. Lovely looking gun. Um, so, obviously, I love the construction on these, they're fantastically uh, well built. And this one's got a level 4 upgrade on it, which is the um, Eagle 6 upgrade spring, uh, Prometheus Type 4 barrel. Um, the spec was for a Firefly hop rubber, but um, uh, we switched that over uh, to a Cyanic uh, hop rubber because we were getting on quite well with those as a product. Uh, and obviously, we wanted to make sure that the build's as good as it can be. Um, so, um, we switched over to that. And well, so we, we do hard gears and um, the Prometheus um, uh, bearings, uh, Japanese bearings. So, yeah, so that's uh, all in in terms of the, the build. Um, we got um, uh, 274 on 3.2, so it's uh, right up there uh, FPS-wise, um, and 341 on twos. Um, so uh, you can see there the sort of uh, uh, kind of readings you get when sort of moving to sort of our hop style uh, ones when heavier ammo seem to chrono. Uh, more with the jaw creep so um so yeah uh, interesting results but yeah we're just now ready to um uh obviously test oh uh it's the um prometheus um uh, high torque motor in this one as well so um so yeah uh, just ready to uh, get some rounds through it which i've clearly forgot to fill Uh, battery wise this is the uh, 1600 new pro that's in this one uh, 7.4 volts and um, uh, like i say it's a little, just a little snug in there um, but um, you, you can negotiate it when you sort of lie it in there slide it on um, i like to have the wiring sort of sticking out a bit as i move it up and then i just kind of stuff the excess in the end and it um, clips in nicely obviously um, if you feel like you're compressing wires when you're, you're doing it uh, stop uh, it's not worth obviously trying to jam batteries in here uh, to cause possible short circuits with the um, uh, MOSFET. Uh, so, uh, uh, but um, but like I said, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, quite good. Uh, and that's obviously a very nice size battery, 1600, to get into this. So um, that's all feature tested now. Um, obviously, all built. I would love the gun. Anybody would be happy with. I'll just quickly demonstrate the um, battery at the front here. So obviously, hand guard off and down, and then you can see the uh, battery neatly uh, in there. And obviously, the way we sort of laid the wiring. Obviously, if you really want to maximise space, then you can remove that uh, battery extension. But uh, otherwise, we think that's. Uh, about as big as you dare, dare go inside this it's uh, like i say a little bit of a squeeze if you want an easier fit then the 1300s uh, are the ones we recommend uh, but uh, like i say that does go in there and, and fit nicely um, and then like i say once it's sort of lying flat you want to get this uh, onto there like so and then that just pushes up and then lines up there so um so yeah but like i say don't force it because um I don't want to jam any and crush any of these wirings because obviously if you crush two wires together even though they're insulated they will arc yeah and then obviously uh broken mosfet time so don't do it <laughs> cool right
hopefully you enjoyed the video and um, uh, looking forward to this and we can um, get this uh, out to you and uh, we hope you enjoy it obviously any problems let us know we'll put the build specification in the um, description for the youtube video uh, feel free to double check it just to make sure everything's uh, as you've requested uh, but like i say hopefully you're looking forward to this and uh, you enjoy it thank you